everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to drive a car like a pro by talking about nine things that will make you a better driver. These nine things will do a great job at improving your driving skills and making you a better driver. It's as simple as that. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Number one, take a driving lesson. Now many people think about driving lessons and they only imagine learning how to drive um, when taking driving lessons, but the truth of the matter is that driving lessons can be very beneficial even if you've had your license for like 30 years or 40 years or even 50 years. And I would think it's even more beneficial to take a driving lesson when you've actually had your license for a while because you can say to the driving instructor, I know that these are the things that I'm not so good at, can you please help me with these things? So you know exactly what you're not so good at and you can ask for help with those specific things. Number two, the second thing that you can do that will make you a better driver is to actually teach someone how to drive. Now teaching someone how to drive will actually improve your driving skills because you'll be demonstrating the right way to do things for them and that's going to help you become a better driver. You're also going to help them with their errors and the things that they need to improve on and that's going to in change help you become a better driver. Number three, the third thing that you can do is to practice some of your weaker skills. So let's say you're not that great at parallel parking. Well, then I would recommend parallel parking 50 times. If you're not good at changing lanes, well then change lanes to the right 40 times and change lanes to the left 40 times. You wanna practice your weaker skills because guess what? The skills that you're already good at you know, you're already good at them, so there's not so much of a need to practice them. But what you can improve on are your weaker skills, so you might as well practice them, and that's how you'll become a better driver. The fourth thing that you can do, leave a bit earlier. When people leave at the last possible moment, when they only leave themselves just a little bit of time to get where they need to go, there's a good chance that they're going to make some bad driving decisions, which, you know, makes them not such a good driver. Instead of leaving at the last possible moment, leave 10 minutes earlier, 15 minutes earlier than you regularly would. This will allow you to have more time, which means that you're going to make better decisions as a driver, and therefore you're going to be a better driver almost instantly. The moment that you leave earlier, you're going to be a better driver almost instantaneously. The fifth thing that you can do is take a few moments to think about safety before you start driving. What you should do is just put safety at the front of your mind before you actually start driving your car. Every time before you actually start your car, put safety at the front of your mind and just think about safety as your first and primary concern. Moving forward, number six, steer with two hands as often as possible. Now, it's not practical for me to tell you to steer with two hands all the time because obviously if you're driving a manual car or even if you're driving an automatic car, you're gonna have to remove one hand from the wheel to do things in the car. Okay, now with that being said, I'm just telling you that steering with two hands is generally much safer than steering with one hand. So just try to steer with two hands as often as you possibly can. Moving forward, number seven. Don't drive when you're tired. Many people think that it's okay to drive when they're fatigued or when they're tired. If you're tired, don't drive. Take a nap, you know, get your energy back, do whatever you can to get your energy back, and then drive once the fatigue has worn off, once you're not tired anymore. Number eight, adapt to road conditions. You have to drive differently when the, road when the road conditions are ideal versus when the road conditions are not ideal. Meaning if the pavement is dry, if it's a nice beautiful day outside, you're gonna drive a certain way. But if it starts snowing or raining or if it's icy or windy or whatever the case is, then you have to change the way that you drive. Generally speaking, you wanna increase your following distance. You wanna make sure that your safety checks are being done absolutely properly. And you wanna make sure that you're doing everything a little bit slower, driving a little bit slower turning at slower speeds and so forth last but not least number nine for this video is to eliminate as many distractions as you possibly can you really want to try to eliminate as many distractions as you possibly can while you're driving in order to make yourself a better driver and that's basically it in this video I have told you how to drive a car like a pro by going over nine things that will make you a better driver if you do these nine things you will likely become a much better better driver. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. 
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.